What's up guys, I'm Emma Spectre Reviews and today we have a review on the Godux LED lights. Let's get started. Okay, so when you get your light, you get it in a cardboard box. It has some parts for your light inside of it. You get a light stand, a microfiber cloth, a table clamp, and an extra tightening mount. On the box itself, it tells you some of its main features, such as a 256 LED bulb panel. Let's see what's inside this box. In this box, you get another box, which also includes your LED panel. And you also get a manual on how to use your light and a warranty guide. In this other box, inside another box, you get your AC adapter. You also get your monitor stand, and you also get your remote control that requires two AAA batteries to work. The batteries are not included. And here is the Godex LED panel itself. In the front, it is plastic. The weight of the light is about two pounds. And on the back is where you would have your lithium ion battery if you ordered one. They are sold separately. And here is a closer look at the desk clamp that is included with your Godex light. As you can see, the rubber is very thick, so it makes a nice padding for your desk so you don't scrape it up. The bottom is hard plastic. Also, this pinwheel is also a hard plastic. The rest of the frame is a hard metal and it's very thick and it feels sturdy in the hand. On the sides, there are standard size tripod screw mounts. Some of them have grip and the other ones do not. There is a total of four standard size tripod screw mounts. and there is an extra thread that you can put an additional. So there are five different ways you can mount your light. Here's the light stand. The light stand at its smallest is 13 inches. It has this nut in the middle of it that you can rotate to make it smaller or bigger. At its longest length, it's 23 and 7 8 inches long. It's almost 24, but not quite. This is your light mount. It has a locking mechanism that goes on the back of your LED panel. To unlock it, you have to press it in, and to lock it, just release. Your light mount can also turn in a 90 degree angle from the front and the back. The mount itself is mostly plastic. This is where you're going to put your stand mount at. To attach your stand mount to your LED panel, first you have to line up the holes to your stand. Next, you have to press the stand mount button and push your stand mount up and release the button. Give it a good tug to make sure it's in. Next, we can attach the stand. First, you're going to want to make sure that that screw is backed all the way out and then your stand should fit. Then you want to screw it tight to the stand. Next, you want to attach your table clamp. Note that you want to attach your table clamp to the table first before you do to your light. And also, I would suggest putting your stand on the table clamp first and then attaching your, your light to the stand. So like this, clamp, stand, then light. The clamp itself holds the light very well. I feel like it's very sturdy, no issues. I'm just adjusting my light to the height that I would like it at. This is a screw that adjusts the light forward and backwards. This is where I have my issue. This screw does not seem to hold the light in position very well, even though I've tightened it down a lot. As you can see, it flopped a little bit. This light can move in many positions. Just keep in mind the angle you have it in so you're not blinding yourself. So what I would recommend is if you have your light in an odd position, just give it a little push to make sure that it's not going to fall on you. Okay, so this is how you pair the remotes. As you can see, my channel is on 3A and my remote setting is at 16E. We need to change that. You're going to want to click the CH slash GRP on your remote. That stands for channel and group. You want to click that once for the groups. Then use the plus and minus button to select your group. Then you click the channel and group button again to select a different channel. You can have up to six groups and 16 channels. Now that they're both on the same channel, your remote can control the brightness of your light and the temperature of your light. For the brightness, you're just gonna press the plus and minus button. You can also hold the plus or minus button to speed up the rate that it changes. To control the temperature, you're gonna press set and then the plus and minus button. You can turn your light off turn your light on. On the back of the panel, you have a knob. If you just turn it, it'll adjust your brightness levels up to the right down to the left. You also have your channel and group button on the back. If you press it once, you can change your group function. And again, if you press channel and group, it'll change your channel settings. To actually change the temperature of your light, you need to press the knob inwards. It's like a button. It's kind of awkward to press. And then Again, just turn the knob up or down to change your temperature. Stop and run button turns off your light and turns on your light. Okay, and here's how your light actually performs. We're gonna start the light at 3300K 
at 50% brightness and work our way up to 5600K. Here we're at 56K and we're working with a brightness of 50% and going to 100. You're still at 56K, going from 100% brightness to 10%. Here we're working our way from 33K to 56K at 100% brightness. Here's what your light will look like on your face at 50%, working our way from 33K to 56K. And here we're making our way from 56K to 33K at 50% brightness. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, consider subscribing and liking this video. It'll help me out and you'll be awesome. As for the light, it works great. I'm very happy with my purchase and I'm considering getting another one, but at $100, it's quite pricey, but for what you get with it, you get the quality. So that's good. I'm Emma Speck Reviews and I will catch you all later. Bye.